Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of Mega Man ZX Advent. Now, my big gripe about this game is the fact that while ZX was long, at least you could pick and choose where you wanted to start first. ZX Advent, you're going in a straight line, plain and simple. You can't get to one Sudoroy without getting the other, and you're going to end up revisiting areas, yes, but you have to go in a straight line first in order for to do so. So, yeah. Not too fond of that. But, for the most part, at least Ash and Grey can defend themselves in their human form, unlike Vint and Ale in the previous game. So, that's something that is a good thing. Anyway, as soon as we walk up here, I did mention about the warp points. Now, trans servers are a good thing, and if you do find one, that's great, but warp points also act as trans servers as well, which will bring you to a trans server. However, here's the thing. The difference between uh, casual mode and this game, casual mode, all you have to do is just simply walk up to this thing and you can just warp anywhere at the cost of losing any and all achievements of beating this game. Well, not all achievements, just the one achievement necessary to actually have an achievement and that's the achievement of beating this game without going on casual mode. Then again, achievements literally don't matter nowadays. They definitely won't matter for the Xbox One once this entire line of Xboxes end up being kaput once Xbox steps out the console wars in 2027. So, yeah. It's not gonna really matter anymore. Nowadays, you literally got three years of it somewhat mattering. But yeah, this area here is going to be of utter importance. And do you want to know why it's going to be of utter importance? Because of the fact that this area will lead to uh, the next Sudoroid. But we'll worry about that later. Oh, excuse me. Duh, sorry. Hiccups, my bad. That area is going to need to the next Sudoroid. We got to get to the first one first. And this area is a dead end. So there's nothing you can basically do for right now. One thing I do like about ZX that I'm going to definitely miss when playing this game. Is literally going to all the dungeons. Now the music is actually pretty good in ZX Advent. Don't get me wrong. There is some awesome music here. However. When it comes down to... Uh, ZX Advent, the one thing that is the problem is, aside from it being as linear as Mega Man Zero, well, after Zero uh, Four, that is, well, Zero Two, yes, after Zero Two, there's really, to be honest with you, not much else to explore once you get through the areas. You're just backtracking, but the areas are going to be shorter. But it's still going to be a longer game because there's going to be more bosses. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> collecting energy crystals is going to be rather difficult. Provided you have, um, I'd say your first biometal and even then your first biometal while it may seem to be powerful the downside to it is it's not a slashing weapon you don't get that until way later in the game so on that note let's go on ahead and start the cutscene shall we for this mission we have to take this container to legion headquarters legion I guess I've got a lot to learn. Man, you must have bumped your head pretty hard. Let's roll out. Ha! Legion is the coalition government created after the war. 
several centuries ago by representatives from every nation. It makes laws that govern the lives of humans and Riploids. Basically, it's the most powerful organization on Earth. I bet the Legion database has info about you, too. That's why I invited you to come along. Isn't using a train for just one container overdoing it a little? The stuff in that container is called biometal. It's very rare and very valuable. We recovered it from some raiders who pillaged it from ancient ruins. Legion pays huge bounties for biometal, so there's a reason we overdo it. Hmm, biometal? Why does that sound familiar? Does he know about me? Who said that? Huh? You can hear me? What? Who's there? Dang, Mavericks. They're going for the engine. You wait here. You! There you are, defective Mega Man. Pandora? You couldn't dispose of this one measly imp? My apologies, Prometheus. No matter. We'll finish him off and take back the biometal. I've had it! Do you think I'm just going to sit here and let you two kill me when I don't even know why? Just lay there and die quietly, scum. No way! I'm... I'm... Hey, Gray! If you want to live, do as I say! Since you can hear me, we should be able to Mega Merge! I'll lend you my strength! Who, who are you? I'm Biometal Model A! Now I want you to focus! Okay, yell Mega Merge! As loud as you can! This power coursing through me! What is it? I feel like I know this power! This is Mega Man power! Mega Man, Model A! <laughs> well, isn't this a surprise? Our defective just Mega Merged. I've got to hand it to you. It looks like you've got what it takes to participate in this little game. Prometheus, isn't that kid... <laughs> no matter. So, Gray, you can keep the Model A for now. You've got a few more encounters with other Mega Men ahead of you. You must defeat them in battle. If you somehow manage to survive until the end. Then you'll know who you really are. And perhaps all there is to know about the world. So let the game begin. His game of destiny. Game of destiny? What's up with them? Oh, shoot. I have to help the others. We 
Wait a minute! Shouldn't we be getting out of here? Well, sorry for that abrupt cutaway, but folks, let me assure you one thing. The cutscene was at its end anyway, so long story short, Model A was in a way since pretty selfish, and there has been many times where Gray was threatening to actually take on the bad guys with or without uh, Model A, and Model A obviously has a mind of its own. The problem with Model A is... Well, while as good as it looks with all these uh, chart shots, yeah, I think, and it might be your go-to strongest weapon. The problem with Model A is that it doesn't really decimate, uh, like energy tanks or like uh, huge energy crystals or huge uh, weapon tanks. So, yeah, things like that. And we're already at the boss. So, this does have a charge shot, and I keep forgetting that I have that. It must be the patrol scheme. I might have to change it in part three, but whatever the case, we're about to get into a boss fight. Model A. You broke rule. You make big mistake. The one you choose. No good. He defective. You lend him your power. No good. Mistake? What are you yapping about? You don't know me. Who's this? He's different from the other Mavericks. Me not Maverick. Me Pseudoroid. Me Buckfire. You get away from Prometheus and Pandora, but not from I. Buckfire, obey rule. Buckfire will pummel you into ground. All right, here's Buckfire. The voice aside, he has a pretty cool design. And he tends to do the cannon uh, spike, yes, the cannon spike, and also the upwards headbutt. Shades of Balrog and Kami respectively, and he has a weakness in being shot in the head. He definitely telegraphs his attacks. However, the arrows, you can just duck under me and my reckless plane. I didn't. I don't know why, but one thing's for sure. You could actually take... Uh, some damage, but you could do a lot of damage to Buckfire because Buckfire leaves himself wide open whenever he shoots, and he also leaves himself wide open whenever he tries to dive kick or throw his emergency boomerangs. You, traitor! Our future! Our world! Yeah! Yeah, the voices can be hit or miss. One thing is perfectly clear though. That's one less pseudoroid we have to deal with. By the way, we have eight of them. And even worse, four Mega Men. Well, five, technically, but still. And now we get to copy Buckfire's data. For those who don't wonder how this game works, unlike with ZX, where you kill off the pseudoroid and their biometal comes to you, that ain't the case here. No siree. You have to use the bottom screen in order to A-trans into whoever it is you have. And uh, right now you're getting a demonstration on how to use Buckfire. Basically, whoever you kill, that's who you turn into. Or should I say defeat. The pseudoroids, you're going to up and kill them. They're going to be wrecked, just like Buckfire was not too long ago. But, uh, do they have elemental weaknesses? The weaknesses are still the same. Fire is weak to thunder. Thunder is weak to ice. Ice is weak to fire. Wait, no, let me rephrase that. Uh, fire is weak to thunder. Thunder is weak to ice. Ice is weak to fire. 
that's how the triangle works. And Phantom has literally no, uh... Oh, and also Model A will criticize you for not actually using the attack on where you need to break. And yeah, by the way, there is no weakness to Phantom, so bear with that. Or ZX for that matter. So with that said, let's break this and be done with it. And that is simply how you use whatever new power you have. At least they demonstrate how the powers work, unlike ZX, where you have to see it firsthand. Is that power why everyone wants Biometal so bad? Beats me. I'm not even sure why it was created. This train is all out of chug, so let's head back to the camp and figure out another way to get to Legion Headquarters. Are you going to help me? Well, it's that or you'll leave me here, right? Besides, we got goons after us and we don't know why. It's better for the both of us that we work together. Thank you. First, we have to help the people who are injured. What? Forget about those hunters and let's get back to camp. No way. I'm not leaving them. If you don't want to come, I can go by my... Okay, okay. All right already. For crying out loud. Why did you have to be the only one around I could mega merge with? Well, with that said... We're sipped back into the area before we went to the train. So, on that note, we can go back to the trans server and send a mission report because there's no trans server by that train. Although, Pass Me, with his retarded self, decides instead of going to the trans server, he went to follow the hunter back to the train. No! No, you dumbass! Go back to the trans server! That's where you need to go! You don't have any much help- Oh god, no, 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 no! Damn it! As I was saying before Pass Me's curiosity got the better of me, I would go back to the main trans server. That would be the best thing. I think for some reason I thought there was more than one, I'm pretty sure there's only one. I still trying to remember this game to a certain extent. But yeah, I almost died at the hands of Buckfire for God's sake. At least I didn't die to the first Pseudoroid. No, I got killed by a Pantheon Goon. Yeah, that's that's kind of like getting killed by Wire Sponge in Mega Man X2. So with that said, time for plot. At least we got 200 coins for the I mean, EC for this. So, you're the one who submitted the mission report. I'm connecting your trans server to Legions via a secure channel. So, you're the Biometal's chosen one, a Mega Man. Who are you dudes? <laughs> you dudes? <laughs> I guess you really have lost your memory. Go easy on him, Mikhail. He doesn't know any better. We are called the Sage Trinity, and we are the Supreme Authority of Legion. I'm Master Thomas. And I'm Master Mikhail. Nice to meet you, Mega Man. And I am Master Albert. How do you do, Gray? How do you know my name? Have we met before? Calm down. We know about you from the Hunter's Report. We're running your file through the Legion database now. We'll soon know who you really are. Meanwhile, so you're not just sitting around waiting, we have a mission for you. We'd like you to bring the biometal directly to us. It seems the train bound for Legion headquarters was damaged. That card key should allow you access to a new area. There's a crashed Raider airship not far from you. Find it and you should be able to get the parts you need to repair the train. The biometal holds technology and information that we do not fully understand, like the Mega Mechanism, which allows you to Mega Merge and become a Mega Man. 
and not to mention centuries worth of lost history. That's enough, Mikhail. We have a duty to study the biometal, so its secrets are never misused. Gray, can we count on you? So, if I go to Legion, you'll tell me about Model A? That is correct. First, head for the crash site. Dangers abound, so give heed to the directions of your fellow hunters. Well, that's it for this episode of Mega Man CX Advent. Next time, we'll be heading over to try and get some parts for the train and ended up running into Chrono Force. This is Army Man 985. See you all next time.